This is Space Coast Jelly .com here with Panthers head coach Engelhart after the uh, Panthers win in the Futures Bowl. Coach, could you tell us what it means to get that first official postseason victory uh, for Florida Sec football to end the season and uh, what that means for this program? Well, it was, it was first of all, it was a fun opportunity, a uh, fun experience for our guys to, to be able to go play in a postseason game. We talked about it all week. Is if we're going to um, you know, take this program where we want it to go, and that's you know, playing in the playoffs and, and winning conference championships, that we're going to have to go uh, up north and, and play in a cold weather game and, and, uh, and win a cold weather game. And for us to, to be able to do that in our first time doing it, um, to get our first road win, um, those types of things are going to be um, good as we move forward uh, to look back on and say, hey, listen, you know, we, we know how to go uh, play in the cold weather and, and perform and win. And, and uh, so it, was, it means a lot to have the opportunity to go play in, uh, in a bowl game um, and, you know, appreciative of the ECAC and Alderson brought us for, you know, hosting it and putting, it, and putting the bowl game on. So it was a, it was a good experience for our guys. For fans who are looking at the end of the season here, the second half, it, it seems like the uh, both sides of the, of the ball, actually all three phases of the game, special teams, defense, and offense, uh, really really showed remarkable improvement. As far as what your expectations were coming into this year, where, where you'd be at this point, would you say things are right about where you'd, you'd expect, or would you say this team may even be a little bit ahead of schedule as far as what your expectations were? Well, I, I'm an optimist, and I'm always you know, um, you know know going to – um, shoot for perfection and, and expect it. So um, the one thing is, you know, I would say probably we're about where I expected in all honesty. Um, maybe because my set standard's pretty high, you know, maybe we are a little ahead of schedule. I, you know, I don't know, but um, all I know is we, I expected to, you know, have a chance to win every game, you know, so, um, but that's just, that's just me and that's, our coaching staff and that's our players too you know we every time we step on the field we expect to win but um you know looking at it honestly and, and probably from the outside looking in I, I would say that we're either on schedule or a little above schedule and um you know, i'm looking forward to you know getting um you know i know our staff's looking forward to getting on the recruiting trail and and uh you know our, our players are going to be looking forward to getting in the weight room and getting bigger and stronger and that way we can continue to progress this program um, you know where we want it to go, and that's to be competing for for conference championships. And you say goodbye to your uh, starting quarterback this year, um, but you also welcome back some key offensive players, including uh, Xavier Milton. He just received a pretty important award. Uh, can you tell me tell me about the uh, the honors you guys uh, acknowledged today, as far as some of your players, including Milton? Well, you know, um, starting off with, with losing Bobby, yeah, we, we lose Bobby, and, mm -hmm. and Bobby was a godsend. He did he did a great job for us, and I think that he ended uh, his career with his best his best game of the year. Um, play, played a great game and uh, had four touchdown passes and threw for about 300 yards and and did a great job. And we're, we're you know going to miss him. Um, but one positive thing of having a young football team is. Um, that you get them all back, you know, and they don't stay young forever. Mm -hmm. um, these guys are going to come back next year with 12 games of experience and uh, another year of experience in, in a college weight room uh, with Coach Tyler. And, you know, so we're looking for, for big things for them. And, um, you know, when you could uh, look at some guys that were pretty key for us this year and you look at um, Xavier Milton and Aaron George and, and Trevor Sand and, and some of those offensive linemen like Ramsey Sellers and, uh, Garcia and those guys um, that are pretty key for us this year and we get them all back and then on the defensive side you know JJ Sanders and Chris Stapleton and Trey Cador and Justin Arcoon and Manny Abad and Tyler Grove I and mean, you go down the list and those are guys that were you know some of them were all conference players and they still have two or three years left of eligibility and, and uh, so that's um, you know that's positive to, to look forward to and, and uh, excited to see how much those guys grow from uh, from this year to next year. And are you excited as far as uh, fan support? You know you guys had pretty strong support throughout the season. You know, the inaugural year there's all that buzz. Um, going into the second season, do you look forward to seeing you know this fan base really expand across the Space Coast? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Our, our fans have been great this year. I will say that we have the best fans in the conference. I mean, we went on some of the road games and, 
and uh, they didn't have the crowds um, that we had here. So um, the crowds that we had, the support that we got was absolutely phenomenal. And, um, you know, just hope that they, they'll continue to come out and support us. And I know that they will. They're, they're proud of, of, uh, of, of being in the, in the Space Coast and they're, and they're proud of, um, you know, Florida Tech being their football team. And, and uh, we hope we can continue to put a good product on the field. And, and we know with wins, um, you know, there'll be more support. Right. I'm not going to, you know, beg for more support. What I'm going to do is try to win football games, and I know that winning football games will continue to bring that support. And anyone who watched this team throughout the year uh, that knows that well, just the way the, foot, way the game of football goes, you know, a few snaps here, a few plays there, this team easily could have been uh, uh, just, you know, one play away from a 500 season and uh, possibly even a winning season. I'm sure, you know, every player knows that, every coach knows that. And, well, it's not there. You still got to feel incredibly proud of this team for a first-year program. Yeah, I mean, we could look back at, at uh, you know, a couple games, and you know, you make a play here, you make a play there, and uh, you know, we feel like there can definitely be, you know, three games uh, in there uh, that, that we could have that we could have won. And even if you have two of them, you know, you have a record of seven and five mm -hmm. instead of five and seven, but. Um, uh, but you just take those learning experiences and you turn the page and you move on and you keep you keep plugging away and you know that with that experience those games will turn into wins. Uh, the experience that we've had, you know, the, uh, we'll win those close games, and that's just about our team being more disciplined, um, you know, and and that only comes with experience. Mm -hmm. And so this team will be pretty much, uh, you know, out of. Out of action for a few months. When does spring practice start? When do you guys? Get uh, February seventeenth. I think 17th. will be our first our first practice, and then um, you know we'll uh, uh, right when they get back from Christmas break. You know, right now they're just going to focus on academics and, and get out of here for a while. And um, you know, right when we come back uh, from Christmas break, that first week in January, we'll hit the weight room and have you know a good. Uh, six weeks of, of uh, strength and conditioning uh, before spring ball starts and then we'll have you know the four weeks of spring practice and then we'll have about another six weeks of strength and conditioning before summer. All right coach well uh, you know it's been a real pleasure to follow the team this year and see all the great things you've done with the team and all the strides all these young men have made. I think they've made everyone in the Space Coast here incredibly proud of uh, what they've done with their effort and their performance so we really look forward to the spring and seeing uh, the, the spring practices and seeing the team getting ready to put together the uh, second work on the second season. And uh, you know, seems like the sky's the limit with this team. So we look well, forward I to it. Well, I appreciate it, and, and obviously we uh, we're proud to be the Space Coast uh, Space Coast football team. All right, coach. Thanks again. Thanks.